Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in New York City. Yes, yes. We're going to get, I mean, last week we were in Disneyland, huh, baby? Uh, yeah, Disneyland. And for my birthday, we went to the Grove we for, did, Christmas, for Christmas. But we didn't quite get that Christmas holiday feels. We want the feels. We want all the feels. Yeah. So we're here in New York City. What city celebrates it the best? Write it in the yeah. comments if your city celebrates it the best. Right now, we only know of New York. Yes. So we have to come here. And even though we have the family feels at home, just the bright glitz and glamour of how it right. feels here, we gotta take it all in. I mean, this city screams yes. Christmas. It does. Right? Uh, every year, it's all. Oh, it's at least the decorations are somewhat the same, but it still screams Christmas. You oh, still yeah. want to come back every year and see them, even though they're the same. Right, we do. Yeah. And last year, uh, we brought Aaron here. She we had did. a great time. We did. Yeah, we're gonna cut away real quick and oh, yeah. give you the room tour where we're staying. Yes. We just got to the uh, M, M Social. M Social. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is just only about a block away from the subway station yes. from the 7th and 53rd. Yes, right? almost like a half a block. Maybe. It yeah, was yeah, very, close. very short, just mm -hmm. a stone's throw. Mm -hmm. uh, we paid a little bit extra to check in early yes. because it's only like 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning. Right, right, right. So we paid $75 extra to check in early, mm -hmm. and it's cheaper than getting another night. Here. Yeah, for sure. That's what mm -hmm. we were going to do because yeah. we took the red eye. Yeah. So we're going to go up and give you a room tour. Yes. Here it is. We checked in at the M Social. We're way up here on the 32nd floor, right? Yes. Yeah, check it out. This view is amazing. Right down there is uh, 7th Avenue that goes all the way toward Times Square. And the cross street's 51st. So like we mentioned, it's only like a half a block away from the subway, from the each subway train. Here it is. Two double beds. Nice working desk over here. How do you like that? Custom, room 3218. Got your name on it, babe. Nice. Yes, over here we have an in-room safe and a little refridge. No coffee maker. I'm kind of bummed there's no Keurig here. But uh, the headboard looks really nice. Very uh, artistic. Here we have just a little a ready room right here. Put your little carry-on. Just a regular closet. There's no robes, I checked. And give a tour of the bathroom, babe. This is the restroom? Small, but it's well needed. I mean, it's not well needed, but it's what we're going to use it for. So yes. the size doesn't really matter. Enough room for what we need. Here we go. And it does come Shower. with um, uh, plus body soap, shampoo, yep. conditioner. Everything is here. It's a little rain shower, too. It is. And a, uh, a, and a wand. Room. And a wand. Yeah. Alrighty. Bathroom. So that is it for the uh, the M social. And how much is it per night? This is a, this is a weekday stay. And booking.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 275. 275. That yeah. was all up, right? Yeah, all up. All, all up, up, including taxes and the resort fee. Yes, yes. Yeah. There is a resort fee, $35 resort fee, and that was all up price. Right. He looked on his Hotel Tonight app and he didn't find this location. No, there it. was another hotel, a neighboring hotel, another block away for 295 so you can expect around that price for around this Manhattan Times Square area. Yeah. Now back to the food. We made it to our first lunch spot here in New York. Yeah. So from where we where we were, it's about a, a mile and a half, right? Mile and a half, two miles, or something like that. Yeah. Good we're, walk. Nice walk. Times Square. We are oh, yeah. Sarge's. Yes. This is a uh, under the radar. Well known for their pastrami sandwiches. Yes. Our first time here. Yes, you know, we have to hit up a really good deli. Um, I, we're going to go get see what they have, uh, maybe pastrami, like Katz's maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, Katz's yeah. We, we went to Katz's a few yeah. times, so we want to try something different. Yeah. Let's go do. inside. Okay. Quintessential. It's the hours. They have so many things on this menu, but we decided to go for the half sandwich and soup. That's a great deal. And we also got a few other things recommended by our server. So I can't wait till they come out. Look what they brought up for us, babe. Uh, coleslaw and some pickles. I'm so excited, my mouth is watering. Go ahead and try this coleslaw. Yeah, look at that. Mm, uh, Looks like there's two different kinds, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe one's a half sour mm -hmm. and one's a sour. Very crunchy. Very very 
That would be a little bit, but I can't. Mm. Crunchy. On the sour side. Look. You can taste that garlic in there. That's a delicious pickle. Let's try this big one. That's probably the half sour. Yeah. Straight up pickled cucumber. Mm -hmm. Great crunch. The pickling is very slight. It's delicious. This is their matzo ball soup. It's called the chicken consomme and just matzo ball, no noodles in it. Let's go ahead and try this out. So this was part of the half soup, half sandwich combo. The flavor is so rich. That matzo ball has all of that chicken flavor in it. And this soup. Wow. This has just amazing flavor. It is it is just naturally done, not salty. It's delicious. Uh, hot pastrami sandwich came out. We got it on rye bread. Now they charge extra if you want the coleslaw on top, but they give you the complimentary coleslaw with the pickles. So we're just gonna do it ourselves. In fact, uh, the server said, hey, you know what? We're gonna give you the, uh, the coleslaw for free. So just kind of gotta do it up yourself. Just like that. How's that look? Here we go. Wow. This hot pastrami is it. Could I say that I like it a little bit better than cats? Did I say that? It is so juicy. It is not salty at all. Great pastrami flavor. A little bit of sweetness from the uh, coleslaw. This is worth coming all the way to New York for it, right here. Sarge's pastrami sandwich. Now this coleslaw tastes perfect by itself. But we're gonna go ahead and get my bite ready right here. I like me some coleslaw. So let's get that ready there. Get my piece of bread. This is gonna be an amazing bite. Yeah, that so, rye bread is so fresh. It's, it's falling apart, oh, yeah. look at that. Mm. That's really to the coleslaw and that crunchy texture along with the top of the Thinly sliced, not the thick stuff. And then you finish it off with a pickle. Um, this is so good. It's got a hike over here. Oh wow, this is perfect. Now we have a few more items too. This is the potato pancake or latte. They gave us uh, some applesauce on the side. Let's try this out. You know we're a fan of this. We tried it at several different uh, Jewish uh, delis. Here we go. It's crunchy. Look how thick that is. It has a good fry on it. Nice and crispy along the outside. And a potato. It's very good. I think my favorite is still the one in the one in Palm Springs. Yeah, that, that one was like extraordinary. But this is very good as well. This is a kindness. I've never tried a kindness before. And they have it either steamed or fried. So we got the fried one. Let's go ahead and break open into this right here. It's getting busy in here. We came at a good time. So let's go see what this is. Oh wow. Oh, look at that. It's like a really good fry bread. Now, of course, we brought our mics, but we didn't think we needed it, but now we got really busy. 
and this spread on the outside, nice and crispy. This is mashed potatoes on the inside. Mm. This is very good. I'm glad I tried it. Sarge was great. Oh my gosh, it, that is legit the best masa ball soup I've tasted. I said it, and it's the best masa ball I soup. I have to tasted. agree. You know, we like the ones in LA, and this one just blew it out the water. It did, it did. It was yeah. just so rich in flavor. It was. And it that soup just warms your soul. Yeah. You know, it just really warms your soul. I want that every single time that I'm sick. And we're gonna we're gonna have to ship it home, baby. Hey, we're gonna have to. Yeah. You know, uh, we apologize because it was getting pretty loud in there. It was. But mm -hmm. we didn't want to mic up like halfway through the meal. So right, right. Hopefully, you heard a lot of. Yeah, and, we, and plus, we always like to give you guys the ambiance of it. And when uh, we walked in, it wasn't even half full. And then, I guess it's lunchtime, and then it started filling up really fast. Yeah, it was a little funny story when we were just checking out. Mm -hmm. uh, you asked our server if they take cash here. Yeah, because you know some places don't take yeah. cash, and everything is tap and go down. And then she said, uh, "She said every place in New York takes cash." Yeah. <laughs> she said they like cash more than pastrami. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Let's go. Let's move on. What is that supposed to be? It's art. Look it up. Look, he's even eating something. We have to make a stop. We have to make a stop. Here's Macy's, the world's largest Macy's, right here in New York City. In the world, it says. This is where, if you saw the Thanksgiving Day Parade, this is where they had the turkey. I don't know if it's on this side or the other side, where they had the turkey and the Thanksgiving Day Parade passed by it, but this is the Macy's that was in that parade. There it is, right there, see? Let's go inside. Let's go. And this Macy's is really cool. They have a bunch of food places in this Macy's. And for the holidays, they have Santa Land, which they're highlighting, Maricon 34th Street. And they have all of this cool stuff going on. We'll walk through also this little holiday lane. I think it's called Holiday Lane. see these WB Mason trucks going around. We do. It always reminds me of like the old Western traveling snake oil. Yes. yes right? The, yeah. uh, the elixir that cures all. That's what it reminds it me does, of. It does. It does. But I think it just uniforms and stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah. It's funny though. The, all over the place. Yes. We are walking by and came across this French bakery. I had to do it. It was so pretty in the window. It's called Marvelous by Fred. They have all these little cute pastries in the window and I got a cappuccino. Yeah, look at so that. That's where yeah, it is. Too. That's what it is. So we're yeah. gonna go ahead. He recommended, I got a coffee one, but the nice gentleman in there recommended this chocolate one. So we're gonna go ahead and take wow. a bite. Look at that. Yeah. Let's, let's see, I think it's like meringue in the middle. Let's check it out. Mm. It's soft. That's what it looks like. Oh. Very soft meringue. Mm, it's good. Yeah, they have so many other kinds of uh, pastries like our croissants and yeah, it's, it's very, very chocolatey. Yeah, it a looks little good. sweet. I'm glad we got the, the cappuccino with the Let's baby. Try it real quick. It's, it's a very soft meringue, huh? Very soft. It yeah. almost uh, disintegrates in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Wow, um, interesting. They're doing it in the window. Yeah, I like it. It's good. good. Yeah. We got a coffee one. I'm gonna try that one out, and then we're gonna go on to an extra venture. Yes. We're just leaving Bryant Park right yeah, now. Yeah, that was a so, lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned or check out that other video. Yes. It's about what we eat and what we did over here. Yes. Now we're walking back to uh, Times Square area. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. 
Saks Fifth Avenue show is coming up. Hi, baby. Right. The Rockefeller Center tree is not lit yet. It'll be lit tomorrow, but yeah. we'll show you the unlit tree. Right. But and what I will show shopping. you is my cool hat. It's keeping my ears warm. It's all that counts. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Look at this building. This is the Fox Square tree, but look at inside the building. Two beautiful trees in there. And look at this colorful one right outside. Yes. You know, there's a lot of these food carts here, yeah. but this is like the, the quintessential food cart. Yes. They're uh -huh. all over. They look exactly like that. Uh-huh. The pretzels, hot dogs, the shish kebabs. Yes, and they're always grilling all day. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all delicious. Yeah, but we are uh, set on one food cart here. We are, which we haven't visited in, in a few years. Yes, it's the first time we came to New York. Yeah, we did. So uh, we're going to try to look at it, but... Right now we're next to those ornaments. Yeah, it's, they're so cool. Um, again, they haven't changed in years, but when you see them, it's like still, still amazes me. It blows me away. Yeah, always yeah. does. Yeah. Here are the popular candy canes that yes. just right across the street from Radio City Music yes. Hall. But we're gonna show you where, they, where you get the ultimate shot. Oh yeah. And you're over here. This way. Walk this way. Gonna go behind the candy canes. And frame the candy cane right there. For Music City here, see? That's a shot. Now you know. That was the shot of the tree. I guess they did yeah. a rehearsal or something. Right, right. The tree's being lit tomorrow. They're already getting it ready mm -hmm. to be lit tomorrow. And yeah. we're going home tomorrow, unfortunately. Yeah, but you did see the big spotlight on it. Yes. So that's it, uh, the Rockefeller tree. It's very green. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we can see the snowflakes. Is it still there? Get those snowflakes on the building. Yep. Oh yeah, they're still there. Yep, so it is gonna be a cool show when they it do the tree be. lighting. Yep, I will watch it on TV. We're gonna go check it out. Yeah, we're gonna, we're here at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Uh, we've never been inside, we've always no. seen it. It's always been closed, so it's open and we're gonna go look inside really yeah. quick. Okay. We got in. We got in. Yeah. But it's beautiful. We're at the Saks Fifth Avenue. They have a bunch of window displays we're gonna check out. I think they're gonna do the, the big wall projection show, but that line of people over there is just huge. I know it's hard to see, but it's about 10 deep. So yeah. I think we're just gonna try to shoot a little bit of here and check out the windows. Well, luckily the show plays often at night. Yeah, it's so, almost 5.30, so, so I'm guessing the first show's at 5.30 p.m. Yeah, but look at these animated windows. Yeah. Well, no, you should be just right, right at this corner right yeah, here, right? Block, oh, yeah. yeah. But it's all good. Here it's we go. Good. Here we go. We got our uh, combo plate. It's on 53rd, right? Right, and 6th Avenue. Yeah, 53rd and 6th Avenue. The original Halal Guys card. Yeah. And now we're trying to find a place where we yeah. could uh, open this up and eat it. $10 for a regular, $8 for a small. Yes, we got the small. 
because we're gonna plan to eat something else. Yes. There it is, a combo. This is the, uh, show the white sauce. This is what you have to stick on. This is like uh, magic stuff right here. Yeah, it's almost like a, a ranch blend of the white sauce. Yeah. So now before they give it, they were in bottles and you just spray it all over your food. Now they give it to you in packets and you're just gonna pour all over. Yeah, I, I think they give you a red hot sauce, but that is like it's really fine. hot. Right. Yeah. So you get this white sauce. Oh. All over. So this, for those that don't have it, this is a combination of a uh, chicken and uh, gyro uh -huh. meat with a uh, salad and the uh, yellow rice, right yes. on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And what's gyro meat? Uh, mixture, I, I think it's lamb. Yeah, it could I be. think it's lamb. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead. I got a little bit of the thing here. There yeah. you go. Pick it up and try it out, man. It's been a while since we had it. Yes. And of course, you have to get it when you're here in New York. You have to get it from the original place. Yes. Now, there are a whole bunch of other Euro carts everywhere. Yes. And I'm sure they're good, but we just went back to the uh, OG one. The OG. Here we go. Yeah. So there's the, meat, uh, yeah. There's that orange rice right there. It's really good. We just mm -hmm. mix everything together. It's delicious. The meat is perfectly cooked, not dry. A little bit of greens. Mm -hmm. This right here is a perfectly balanced meal. It is. It has the moistness of the chicken, the cold of the greens. And that year of meat right there, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, it's making me hungry watching you there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And have to visit original Halal guys. Heart. Yeah, and it is a chain, you know. So there is one in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. There's, There's one, one in Long Beach, California. Long Beach yeah, so Brick just and mortar. yeah, just check out their yeah. website and uh, see yeah. if there's one near you. But the OG is at the cart. Yes, that's where it all started from, mm -hmm. right here in New York City. Mm -hmm. Delicious. One thing uh, you didn't mention is they give you some pita. So a couple of triangle slices of nice pita right on top. Very good, just like I remembered it. Even the lamb meat here, it's not gave me it all. It just has a nice, almost like a beef type of flavor to it. It's nicely seasoned and it's rice. Whoop, sorry babe. The rice is flavor, but I'm not sure with what pan. it's very mild mm -hmm. it just matches everything and this is the perfect place to eat it right next to those candy canes where we were at earlier right across the street from radio city oh yeah this is yeah. screaming christmas all the way it is a lot of these people are walking around looking at this and they're probably saying hey i wonder where they got that from over there Gonna give an honorable mention here. Yeah, so Trung and Elaine, yes. we saw you at Bryant Park. They're one of our YouTube familia in New York. Yes. They uh, saw us at Bryant Park and they stopped us and they told us about this place. This is on 51st and between 6th and 7th, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hawker. It's food new. Court. It's an right. urban hawker. It's a new uh, food court. It has at least 20, 20 oh, yeah. places in here. Lots of eateries. Lots of eateries. I don't know if we're going to try anything today, but we're yeah. going to definitely walk through. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many Singaporean type of uh, yeah. places here to eat. Yeah, this, is, this place looks pretty legit. So this place will be a video by itself next time we're able to explore yeah if we have a couple days here in new york yeah, we'll definitely yeah. explore this one yeah this definitely really good. it does i like that fried rice place yeah and they also had a roast sweet and sour duck or something yeah. over there uh -huh. and then they even have trashu here and then we have a some sort of fish head soup that's really popular here uh, baby. so yeah i'm ready fish head soup fish let's head do soup. it you know it here is the Singaporean iconic fish head kale curry. That looks really good. You know what? I was making fun of it, but actually it does look good. 58 bucks though. Yeah. Woo-wee! 
Hey, you know, you gotta try it. We made it. Ooh, yes. My voice. We're back in Times Square. We're right across the street from the M&M and what is this one? Oh, and the biggest crispy cream. That's right. It's yes. right over here in the corner. The biggest crispy cream. And this is where they have set up the a little, little Christmas market. On a one block long or yeah. a half a block. Yeah, in Times Square. What I love about New York is they have little streets that are closed off and everybody just, they have chairs, they have tables, everybody just can be al fresco all the time. Yeah, um, even in this weather, people are, are sitting. Chilling outside. Yeah, right, yep. right. So let's go explore this little Christmas market, baby. Yeah, I think I got used to the cold because look, I don't have my, my hat on no, anymore. No. And our hotel is maybe about two blocks and they're, they're short blocks so it's maybe two two or three blocks away yeah so it's very convenient it is it is so uh, let's go check it out yeah there you go babe look like finger warmers oh, look finger oh, i thought they were finger they, warmers they are finger warmers you never know yeah Oh, I like this, look. Babe, look. Look at all these uh, ornaments here. These are cool. These are very small. Right? Yeah. The white one? Yeah, what do you think? It's pretty good, look. It's warm. Yeah. I think those are like little hand warmers. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. She told me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> There's more. Mm -hmm. Little bears on bears. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the end of it right here. That's it. That's your mini uh, That's Christmas your market. That's mini Christmas market, and it comes out to the lights of Times Square. I have to say, for a Tuesday night, there's a lot of people out. Yeah, there is a lot of people out. Right? And it's chilly, but it's not windy, so it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to go a little bit of shopping and then go eat some pizza. We're gonna end our night okay. at Joe's Pizza. Yes, here in Times Square. We yes. haven't been to this location yet. No, no, we went to the other one. Yeah, the line's a little bit long, so we're gonna go jump into it. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, some people might be screaming, hey, that's that's a big tourist it spot. It is. Well, guess what? We're tourists. We're, tourists. <laughs> we're gonna go check it out. Yeah. We got it. What's nice about this location is because it is so busy, they do a lot of turnaround pizza, so you know it's not sitting there at all. So right. We decided to get a pepperoni, a supreme, and a what's it called? Like Gram a grandma slice, like a square. Okay, it's a square. Yeah. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, I heard those pizza angels. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's the supreme right here. Of course, the regular pepperoni. Square. And the square. Look at it. You even got a corner. And look how big. These pieces are big. They are. So they don't chimp on the size of the pizza. Oh, no, good size. Oh, yeah. And like you said, you know, the people just continuously yeah. in line over here. So you yeah. know your pizza is not sitting around because it's just going and going. And they're making them as fast as they can. All right. Let's try it out. Look at that. Look at that. The size of the slice. Oh, we have to take a, take a, a picture thumbnail. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
This is what you've been waiting for, babe. And we're back. Here we go. First slice of a New York pizza on this trip. Mmm. I like it. Look at that pear there. Looks really good. The tomato sauce is a little bit on the sweeter side. Nice cheese flavor. Got that right amount of salt in it. And that pepperoni. You gotta love that pepperoni taste. Very thin cut. It's great. You know what makes it taste better also? You're in New York, right? Mm -hmm. That always adds to the, to the experience, the pizza eating experience. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this one. I, I love the way it is here because you can see that the sauce and the cheese go all the way to the crust of the pizza. That looks like a very hearty bite. It looks very bready, but that's why I ordered it because I wanted to be a little bit more bready. Let's try it out. I'm gonna try this corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bread is that bread. There is a lot of red, but I don't know It really fits with this pizza. With all that cheese, and look at how well it's cooked underneath. You can taste the char of that cheese. Yeah, we just had to try it because they offered it, you know, so mm -hmm. along with the yeah. with the thin crust, mm -hmm. we got a thick one. That bread is very good. Almost, it almost tastes like a sourdough crust. Wow, and this tomato fresh, not acidic. So I can't even feel it. Not this one here. This one really is a, this one is cheese bread with a touch of tomato. Mm, this is delicious. Wow, look at There's all that. There's the supreme. It's gonna flop, it's gonna flop. Uh oh, I better get it. Look at all that pepperoni. Wow. Mm. The supreme is perfectly cooked. This crust is crunchy. The char on the crust. It really is the quintessential thing of a pizza. Really quintessential taste of that pizza. Of a New York slice. Oh yeah. So uh question, Th thin crust or thick crust for you? Thin crust. Mm. I could tell. You're really enjoying that one, babe. Both of them are delicious and I had to try it, but for this one, they're Those are some good slices. They were very yummy. Yes, yeah, yes. We finished them all. Yes, and yeah. that's a good capper for tonight. Yes, and we'll see you guys in the morning. We're at the M Social on our rooftop wait bar. Minute, wait it's minute, called wait Beast and Butterflies. Wait a minute. And it's on the fifth floor. Before we turn in for the night, we went back to our hotel to the rooftop bar, mm -hmm. which is really just on the fifth floor. It's not really on the roof. Right, it's, a, it's actually their lobby level. Yes. And it's on the roof of, yeah, I guess, the lobby level. Yeah, right? it is, it is. And uh, it is free to go to. Uh, it's a bar. Right, like it's, your, it's free to, to visit. Yeah. But of course, you have to buy your drinks and stuff like that. Sure. But um, it has an amazing view. Yeah, it is, right down here in Times Square. Yeah. I, I know it's been highlighted on a couple of the YouTubers. Yes. And uh, this is like a hidden gem because there's nobody up here. No, not right at now. all. It's kind of chilly, but still there's no one up here. No one up here, And yeah. then you have the most amazing view. We do. Uh, you ready to check it out? Yep. Uh, not you, them. Oh. Them. Yeah, check it out. Good morning. Good morning. This is our last morning here. Yes. We only have a few hours left we before do. we have to head back to the airport. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna get some bagels. We are, a different bagel place. So yes. we're gonna go try that one out. And look at this, right outside this office building, yeah. there's a bunch of real Christmas trees. It, it looks, looks like it's in the fountain. It looks like we're in a Christmas tree lot, yeah. right? There's so many trees. And they're real. Yeah, they are, check it out. 
Because you can tell because they're all in uh, water. Right? They're all in yeah. water and yeah. they go, look at how they go graduated. They're going from low to high. That's really cool. And look at there's a bird sitting on top of that tree. Well, yep, there Just is. Just looking around. I thought, it was a, I thought it was a fake bird. No, it's real. Yeah, so in case you're wondering where this is, this is on Park Avenue and 52nd yes. Street. Yes. Yeah. Um, beautiful morning. It is. Uh, it's supposed to rain oh, later the again, but beautiful morning. Oh, 46. 46 degrees. Yeah, it's kind of so. warm. I think because of the cloud coverage. Right, yes. right. So, uh, yeah, we're on our way to the Bagel Place right yes. now. Yes. Here we got the signature. Yep. It's a big bagel. Can't wait to eat this. It's ready to unwrap this bagel. Yeah, we're lucky we got yeah. a seat here. You know? yeah. We're raining. Uh, yeah. So this is the uh, signature with the everything bagel everything toasted. Everything bagel right? toasted. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. See the tomato. Where's the... Oh, there it is. That right there. There's all the salmon. Here's the tomato lettuce. Uh, Scallion cream cheese. Paper, right? Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. This is uh, everything by design right yeah. here. We're going to take a picture. I'm ready to take a bite into this bagel. I love that. Look at that. That tomato, that lettuce, that cream cheese. You see that onion, the scallion. Wow. Yeah, and all of these bagels are hand rolled, made, handmade yeah. here. Ha hand rolled and kettle, kettle boiled. Yes. Yeah. Hand rolled and kettle boiled. Here we go. Wow. Good shoot on that bagel. I know we toasted it. You're not supposed to have a toasted, but you like a toasted bagel. We're from California. Oh, yeah. You can really taste that. Cream cheese really comes out. That chew and that bagel. But everything bagel isn't too overpowering. Mm -hmm. How is it with the lettuce? Because we usually never get it with lettuce. With that lettuce, it really enhances that flavor. It has that really great cold crunch to it. The onions are cold and it's also really really contrast because this bagel is warm and everything else is cold. It's a great chew on the bagel. It has a little bit of crunchiness on the bagel. You can tell this is freshly done. Um, this is really good. I recommend this place to anybody. Oh, as you can see, it's extremely popular mm -hmm. here. This line has been uh, non-stop. Mm -hmm. What we noticed, especially at Russ and Daughters, one of our favorite places, is they purposely, but they don't cut the bagel in half. As you can see, it's almost like a 60-40 cut. And I, I don't know the reason for that. So if you know what, put it in the comments below. But I, I find it interesting that um, it, it's never cut exactly in half. Here we go. This is a uh, first bite. It's a bagel. This is delicious. Everything that you said about the bagel, I completely agree. Just to add, the salmon is not salty at all. Sometimes, they, they, they have different kinds of um, smoked salmon at other places, and some can be a little bit more salty than others, but this seems to have a nice balance of that smoky flavor and saltiness. And you mentioned the bagel having a nice chew. It definitely does. Freshness is what comes through, and you, uh, you gotta have it when you come here. A fresh bagel and salmon. So, which one, baby? Russ and daughters are here. <laughs> well, you know, let's just say that the packaging on the Russ and daughters is more beautiful. That's all I'm gonna say. But, uh, you can't go wrong if you're in Manhattan. Go to Estadego. If you're in the Lower East Side. Check out Rust and Daughters. They're both delicious. That's going to wrap it up for our quick New York trip. That was really quick. Sorry to our New York Ohana. We couldn't see you guys yeah. on this trip. It was a very, you know, our weekend trip. So, you know, they're very, always very short. Right. Next time we stay a little bit longer, we'll give you a little bit more forewarning. 
and so maybe we can meet some of you guys. But we did meet. We did meet one couple. That's right, yeah, we did. That, yeah. just, that found us in our Bryant Park. We're only here for a little more than 24 hours. Yeah. We're about ready to head back to the airport. Yes. As you can see, it's starting to rain a little bit. Yes. Yeah, so but we had a great time over oh here. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I'm feeling all the Christmas feels, baby. Yeah, Christmas all feels. Christmas vibes. I got it. I feel it. It's in me now. Yes, this is the city to, uh, to capture that Christmas and holiday yes. spirit. Yes. Right, do you have any shout outs? I do. Uh, Peggy Paris, happy birthday. Michael from Talmadge, Ohio, happy birthday. Alex and Jonalyn, thank you so much for watching. Amanda and Joshua, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Jonathan and Courtney, happy anniversary, and thank you so much for watching. Fonzie and Joyce that live here, mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching. They've been watching us for a oh, while. Yes. Uh, congrats, A, on the purchase of a new apartment from <laughs> Gail and Andrew, and thank you so much for watching. And Trong and Elaine, we're the one, you're the ones that uh, found us or saw us mm -hmm. in Bryant Park That's and right. gave us about that urban space, that Singaporean uh, food the, hall. Right, right? the uh, Hawker Center. Right. right. Well, what's uh, interesting Hawker. is when we're walking around, there's another food hall that's right across the street from it. And those two we got to explore next time we come back. That's right. And just to let yeah. you know that every place that we visited to eat, the address is in the description below. It is, it is. Yeah. And thank you everyone so much for yes. watching. Be sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 100K. Yeah, we're right. on, uh, on the road. Uh -huh. yeah, and yeah. Uh, next week is Elani. Who's yes. ready for Elani? That would be the, the Hawaii uh, vacation. Yes, yes, yes. So this video will be released while we're in Elani. Yes. But at the end of the week, we'll probably release a few Elani. Videos yeah, today. and you know, if uh, for those that want to keep up on what we're doing, you post everything on uh, Instagram. Instagram. I, right? I posted real time on Instagram, right. like this week, which is gonna do next week. Uh, this week, I posted some pictures from New York, mm -hmm. so uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Luhu 220, and the descriptions in the below. That's in right. The link. That's uh, right. Follow me, and then I I'm pretty real time. I'm more of an Instagram, Facebook person. He's more of a Snapchat. Yeah, and YouTube that's right. person. But all the info is in the description below. It is, yes. Okay, well, that wraps it up for New York City, and yes. we'll see you back in LA. Yes. Or in Hawaii. In Hawaii. Yeah. Until our next Hawaiian adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.